What is up everyone? Welcome to my channel. My name is Albert and in this channel I am just documenting my progress on my attempt to make several thousand dollars every month selling Tesla puts. And yeah, my goal is just to, you know, first of all make a lot of money selling Tesla puts, but also document my progress so you know you can follow along and that'd be that'd be interesting. So I just share, you know, what I'm doing and what I'm thinking, what I'm learning. Um yeah, so please follow along and uh yeah, let's get started. So if you if you've seen my videos from the last couple of weeks, I've been thinking more and more about it, and I've been wanting to sell more cash secured puts versus selling puts on margin. The benefit for selling puts on margin is that you can sell more puts and you don't have the cash to secure it. Uh, but the downside, and this is a big downside other than the risk, is that you, ca you can't sell a at the money cash secured put, right? Because you need, to, you need some sort of buffer. I can't sell like a, you know, eight, if it's priced at 830, I can't sell 830, I gotta sell like a 750, right? The problem with that is that the premium is a lot less, is significantly less, it's like half or less than half, right? Um, so what I want to do is, is I want to sell a at the money cash secured put for a week because you can make like 3% on that, 2.75, 3% in a week. So um, the problem with that is I need to have $85,000 in my account. So obviously uh, I don't because what I've been doing with the cash I have is I've been buying Tesla shares with it, right? So all the money I made and all the money I've been saving, I've been buying Tesla shares, uh, which, you know, leaves me with less cash. So I think I could scrounge up around, scrounge about, around 60K uh, in cash, and then I'm 25k short. So I was thinking about what I could do for 25k, and my idea was, what if I sold a very, very far, far, far in advance, you know, expiration date put at the money. Uh, so that's what I did, and I sold a put for next January. That's 2004, not next January, 2004 January, or at the money. At the time it was 8:30, and I clicked at $25,000 for that for that put. And I took that $25,000 plus the $60,000 I had, and I used that $85,000 to sell an at-the-money put for next week. And by doing so, uh, oh yeah, by the way, so I'm currently at, uh, for the month, I, I sold, uh, I closed the put out yes, yesterday, so I made 650 bucks. It was that 800 put that I had. I could have made like two grand on it, but the, the market was falling, and then I, was, I had this idea. And this idea would only work, it would work a lot better when the, when, when the stock is dropping. So the stock price at 8.30 and I was like, all right, fuck it. I'm going to close everything I have that I can and then I'm going to do this plan. So my plan was uh, I'm going to sell this 8.30 January 24 put. All right. So this is January 2024. So this thing will never get signed. Right. Uh, and also it's like at the money. So for this, because there's so much time on it, I got to kick 25K. Okay. Keep in mind, my thesis is Tesla is going to fucking moon, right? So there's no way, in, in my mind, there's no way Tesla will be at 8.30 uh, in two years or a year and a half, right? So then I took that 25K and I, I added 60K to it. And then I sold an at the money put for next week for 8.35. And the reason it was 8.35 is because in the two minutes where I got the money for this and did this, the stock price went up like $8. So I just wanted to do a clo as close to at the money as possible. Um, so I did it 8.35 and then um, I collected th almost $3,000 for it for one week. So that, that 800 put that I sold, you don't see it on here, but the 800 put that I sold or I enclosed out where I got 600 bucks for it, the maximum I could have made on that was, was $3,500. And that, that would have taken five weeks of waiting around, right? And that, that's also using margin. The reason for that is because I sold that 800, I sold the price, like the price was like 850, I sold 800, right? So the, the price is a lot less. So within a week, I could make that amount of money. So that's why I just closed it out. I was like, I'm not gonna wait. I can make a, I can make 3k by next week. So that's what I did. So I needed that 25k. I thought of a way to get it. And I'm selling this at the, I have enough cash right now to do an at the money put. So next week, let's say next Friday, the cash, let's say the stock price dips to 7 770, right? What's going to happen is I'm going to trade $83,500 for 100 shares of Tesla. And then I'm just going to wait. I'm going to wait for the 770 stock price to go back up to 835 and then probably what I'll do is I'll close I'll sell 100 shares for the, my money back, and then I'll sell another put for $3,000. If I can do this two times a, a month, I'll make six grand a month. That's like 75K a year. I can, if I can do it three, three times a month, it'll be, you know, 100K. And if I can make, if I do it every single week of the month, uh, every single week of the year, which probably won't happen, you can make like over 100%. You can make uh, 150K. Uh, will that happen? Probably not. But now I'm risking a lot less. I'm making roughly the same amount of money as my previous strategy, but I'm risking a lot less because I can hold it all the way through. Worst case scenario, Tesla drops to 600 bucks and just stays there, right? Then I just hold on to the shares and then I just, just wait. And that's okay with me because I have a long-term full thesis on Tesla, right? 
Another benefit is this this 830 put actually doesn't take too much margin. It takes about 50k of margin. Whereas if I sold a month, a put that month out, it's about 30k. So it's not even that much more margin. And I have a lot of margin, so if this dips, I can, I can, my account can hold. I've been, I was selling like seven or eight puts at a time before, right? So if this dips, it can dip pretty far. And on top of that, my break even, because I'm getting 25k, my break even is actually like 83 minus 25. So that's, uh, what, 58, 580 bucks. That's my break even. So if Tesla hits 580 bucks, that's when I start losing money. And I can tell you for a fact, I would bet my firstborn that it's not going to be 580 in a year and a half. Okay. Uh, I was thinking, wondering if my wife heard me on that one, but hopefully she doesn't watch this. All right, so that's kind of my th my theory, and that's what I'm doing. The only downside of this account right now is this 900 put that I have, and it's, it's freaking a lot of money. Uh, and that, that was a mistake. I got scared, and I, I rolled too early. So let that be a lesson. Do not roll too early, because now it's going to take me a while to make this one back. I hope this makes sense, and it makes a lot of sense to me, and I'm super excited about this strategy. I'm actually pretty proud of myself for thinking about this. Um, yeah. Okay. So what's going on? My other accounts. I actually sold 100 shares of Tesla at 8,800, dollars. No, 881 dollars, 24 cents. So I got that, and then I right away, I uh, right right after I sold 100 shares, I just rolled. I just sold another put for 875. This is on March, so it was only two days. So with it, so in two days, I made 1,300 dollars. But, but you see this 875, I sold it for 88.881 by, I sold the put for 875. So I actually made like a $600 spread, I guess, right? So I, I made 1354 for this put. I made another 600 bucks for the difference. And I took the 1354, I bought Tesla with it. So then, um, so then what's going to happen on, on Friday, tomorrow, wait, today? Oh, it already happened. So what happens to happen today? I either buy back the 100 shares I sold for whatever the price is, 830, right? So I lost, I, I quote unquote lost $50 per share. I didn't because I was holding the shares before anyways, right? Um, so I, I just, I still have 100 shares of Tesla. I made an extra 1354, which I, you know, bought almost a share and a half with that. And then I have extra 600 bucks as well. So I've done this three times. This time was obviously for the least amount of money because I, I only had it for two days to do it, but 880 seemed pretty high to do it. So I want to do it when it was high. And uh, yeah, so I made, I made seven shares plus 634 so far doing the strategy and it's awesome. Amazing strategy. I'm gonna do it with. I'm gonna do it more. Okay, so that's that's my strategy, right? And I was telling my friend this, and he was like, "Yo, like, why don't you sell a covered car, cover covered call?" And I, I was, I don't know why when he said just that, it kind of blew my mind because I never want to sell covered calls on Tesla because I was, I'm, I'm worried about the the run up, right? What happens if it runs up by these calls out, and I, I miss the run up. But because we're in such a you know weird environment right now where there's a lot of you know, ups and downs. I felt okay selling my shares in order to benefit from this $1,300, get this premium. So if I'm already taking that risk, then I should be selling a cover call. So what I could have done is instead of selling the shares, I could just sold a cover call at 880, right? And either I sell it, either I, either I sell the shares or I don't. If it hits that, if that hits that price, and then if I do sell it, then I'll just sell the put. So that's called a wheel strategy. Um, and I, I've made a video on that. I'll link it here or something if, you, if you're interested in that. But uh, but yeah, this could be really lucrative, right? I think it's pretty lucrative. I've only done it three times so far, just for fun. I've already made seven shares, which is seven times, I don't know, 800 bucks. Like, I made like five grand, basically doing nothing. Um, yeah, and then the, my, my retirement account number one, I sold the freaking put credit spread and I lost four grand. So, I mean, this is way better. And I'm gonna try, I'm probably gonna do this on both accounts and just see what happens. But the, the, the thing is you do, I do, I do feel uncomfortable doing it when the price is low so i do kind of wait until the stock price hits a certain number before i do it because you know i don't want to i don't want to sell the shares when it's like below 850 right i think like closer to 900 is kind of where i feel comfortable doing it but that's just me okay hope this helps talk to you soon please subscribe yes and thank you bye